Hello, I'm Janice Watley from Salford Business School. I was invited to join the panel to assess the professional discussions of the PGCAT programme. And I really enjoyed the experience of uh, assessing these students alongside somebody from the Academic Development Unit in order to look at their work that they'd prepared in a portfolio uh, for their assessment. What I really enjoyed about doing that was the fact that I met students for the first time from all over the university, from lots of different schools, and had an opportunity to see exactly what they did in their teaching work, how they approached it, and how they reflected on it, and used it in order to um, think about their development as an academic. So. I was able to give the academic perspective on the assessment alongside the um, tutor's assessment and I think it worked really well. We were able to talk in depth to the students about their portfolio items, about how they felt their journey through the PG Cap had progressed and what they got from it and how they thought it would help within their school as they went back to their teaching. So I really enjoyed the experience. I felt it was a really good way of doing assessment. And actually, I think it's applicable for a lot of assessment work where we perhaps use a portfolio of um, items that students have produced. Maybe even within management development program in the business school, we might try it. So really useful. Thank you. The process of assessing uh, the students on the PGCAP was very interesting. The students had set up a blog on which they submitted all their um, portfolio items and the assessors had access to these in advance so we could look through what they'd actually done. We talked to the students face to face about their uh, achievements and what they'd actually posted on there. And then, uh, once the student had left the room, the two assessors um, discussed together how we felt the students had approached their collection of artefacts, uh, how they had talked to us about them, what they felt was important about the different items, and we were able to assess using the fixed criteria that we were given and give some feedback on how we felt that they had approached the uh, problems, how they had developed their work and the feedback was typed directly back into their blogs so that the students could immediately pick up what we thought about it. And I think that was a really good use of social media for assessment.